What's up SharePoint community? Andy here and got something really cool and exciting that I want to discuss just briefly in a short little video. I was doing some work with a client this morning and we ran into the uh, calendar uh, inside of uh, SharePoint. Uh, specifically, he was trying to work with Microsoft Teams, Microsoft 365 Groups, the shared group calendar and find a way to actually surface that in a SharePoint site. As we were going through the SharePoint site, I noticed something really, really cool. There's a modern calendar in SharePoint Online. I haven't seen this. I did a little bit of research. I didn't see anything recently posted by any of my colleagues in the community. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes and just kind of walk through what I've actually found. So what you're seeing is the modern calendar inside of SharePoint Online. Now, I created this using a custom list. So simply went into my site created a custom list and when we first created the list, the default view was called all items. So nothing different than any other list that we've created in SharePoint previously. But I went up to the all items dropdown and decided to create a new view and I noticed there was a new option listed there and that's calendar. Whoa, haven't seen this before. All right, so right away I can go in and I can set the start time and the end time on the calendar. And then there's an additional option where you can also change the title that's actually going to display on the calendar layout. And it's actually pulling from all of the columns that are inside of the custom list. Now to test this out, I actually added as many of the different column types as I could. Single line of text, multiple lines of text, date fields, choice fields, person or group field. I even used the new location field uh, inside of uh, SharePoint. So you're able to go in and create a new view inside of the, the list. I'll call this one uh, calendar two. I'll make this a public view and then I'll create it. And there we have it. We have a modern list view calendar formatted inside of SharePoint Online. That's pretty neat. It's even got the call out on the side whenever you select an item. Now I noticed um, just kind of testing this around a little bit. If you double click on the item, It'll actually pull up the default form, and so you're able to see all the values that you actually entered in there, and then you can go back to kind of the, the default uh, look. Uh, you can also go in to, uh, to the list. I'll just create a new item inside of here. Give it some different times and values. And just showing that all of the different fields and all the different values are actually just working inside of here. Make sure that I'm a required attendee and then save it. So it, it works just like uh, any other item. Uh, click on the, uh, the item in the call out. Now in trying to work with this, there are some limitations that I've noticed. Um, for example, with the filters, like I can filter by the title, but I can't filter by any of the other fields. So none of the choice menu values, none of the um, like locations, I can't filter by any of that. Also notice as I was working through here, going into the list settings area and working with uh, the calendar views there. So let's go into calendar number two. So try to go into the, the settings here and I thought, well, I'll try to uh, create a filter here as well. So let's go in and like I've got this category field and I've just got uh, category set up uh, with um, uh, uh, like values um, one, two, and three. Um, so I'll just say like value number one, and then we'll try to save that. It does pop up this error message. So it says that the values have to be between a min and a max. I've tried this a couple of different ways. So not only did I use the uh, the equal to option. I've also tried like the begins with and the contains. I've used a choice menu. I've used a single line of text. Um, I've used a number field and the filters here do not seem to be working. So it doesn't look like we can filter uh, the calendar by any of the values other than kind of the default that is currently associated uh, with it. However, um, you can switch into your modern calendar view and you can also go in and you can set that as the uh, the default. So you can make that the default whenever you go and um, uh, visit that uh, that list. Um, so that functionality is there, but being able to filter is currently not supported. I know another question that I had was the ability to actually overlay. I don't see any options to be able to go in here and to overlay. Um, so I don't see any kind of overlay uh, options with that. Also went into Outlook and I didn't see a way to bring that into my Outlook and maybe overlay that with some of my calendars inside of Outlook. So it's definitely specific to the SharePoint site, but there is one cool feature, uh, Microsoft Teams. We can go into Microsoft Teams and we can go to a, uh, to a channel 
uh, and I'm going to be able to tab that modern calendar into the channel. That's pretty cool. So I'm connected to uh, to this uh, workshop. There's the list that I actually just uh, just created uh, a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we'll give this a second. And there it is. So the modern calendar does work inside of Microsoft Teams, uh, in addition to to the SharePoint site. Now, again, I've done some research. I haven't seen a whole lot of information on this yet. I'm super excited about this. This is something I know a lot of people have been asking for for a really long time. I've seen it in my tenant, and I've also seen it in one of my client's tenants uh, today. So two separate tenants. Mine is actually a kind of a first release tenant, uh, but the other tenant is standard release, actually slow release over there, and it's actually uh, supported in both. I want to give a big shout out to the Microsoft team for putting this together, the SharePoint team. This is awesome. I know I've been waiting for it for a while. I can't wait to see additional functionality and what's going to happen here, whether we get filters and overlays and, and whether I can tie this into Outlook. And, you know, this is the first step. We've got a modern calendar inside of SharePoint and I'm geeking out on this probably more so than, uh, than, uh, than I should be. But I just wanted to share. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Keep upskilling, and we'll see you in the new year.